This is Jerry Maynard of Soul Success, the podcast that deals with the inner man. Do you really love yourself like you should? Do you like yourself? Because you can have all the trophies of success, but if you don't love yourself and you don't like yourself, it really doesn't matter. I want to talk to you about something I can't stand, and that is when people come on IG or they come on Facebook and they say, I'm going to give you the three keys to success or the five keys to success, and we eat it up, and they don't know anything about us. They don't know our background. They don't know our life. It's the difference between a single mother of four kids having those four keys to success and a single man who's white and comes from money having four keys to success. They don't apply the same. And so I want to talk to you about what's really real. Success is based on what you are going through in your life at the time you make the decision, I'm going to win. And when you make the decision you're going to win, you need to come up with a plan that deals with your circumstances, deals with whether you have money or no money, deals with whether you have a family or no family, and deals with the fact that you're going to have to make some sacrifices. That's right. You're going to have to make some sacrifices. What do you mean, Mr. Maynard? I'm glad you asked. When you decide that you're going to go into business or you're going to start, start a side hustle or you're going to go up to corporate ranks, there are some things that have to give so if you are a family man and you are a husband and you like to be home by 5 o'clock p.m. every day so you can play baseball with the kids and you think that you're going to rise up the corporate ladder or build a business from scratch, I don't know if that's going to work. You may have to put in the time, the energy, the money, the resource, make some sacrifices, and hopefully your family will be supportive. If you are a woman and you want to get married and you want to be married now, you may not want to get in starting your own business because when you start your own business, that almost becomes your husband. I know this sounds kind of rough, but it is true. You cannot have two husbands. One is going to be the business you're trying to run and the other is going to be the person you're trying to be in a relationship with. It takes sacrifice. What I'm saying is I don't know you. You don't know me, but I can tell you some principles. One principle that I do know is that you're going to have to make some sacrifices that you didn't even know that you would have to make. And the question is, are you committed enough to make those sacrifices to make sure that your business or your career is successful? And understand these sacrifices are really investments. So instead of saying, oh my God, I can't believe I gave this up and I gave this, gave this up. Gave, no, you didn't give up anything. A sacrifice is an investment. I want to tell you a story about this. When I was in law school, I had some friends of mine that every spring break they would go to certain uh, places and uh, um, Belize, Cancun, all these other places. You know what I did? I went to a law firm and I said, can I work for free over spring break? Because I wanted to learn the trade. I want to learn how law firms work. Because it was a sacrifice, I saw like, man, I'm missing out. I know they partying, they having a good time, and they're sending pictures. And before we had uh, Facebook and IG, you know, you had to literally have to send by email pictures and take photos of it. They would come back, show me the videos and everything, and I would feel bad about myself. But you know what? When I got that full-time job and they told me, the employer that hired me, why they hired me is because they saw that I was dedicated, committed, and I had something burning on the inside of me that I would take my spring breaks and work those two weeks or one week to go work for a law firm. They said, man, you got the gusto, you got the jazz, you got whatever we're looking for. And because of that, I said, you know, I made a sacrifice. It was really an investment. You're gonna to have to make some investments in your life, for your business, for your success to win. And those sacrifices, don't look down upon them, celebrate it. Celebrate it, you're dealing, doing, uh, willing to do whatever you need to do, whatever it takes to win, to be successful. I know it's not easy. I, don't, I can't give you five keys to success because I don't know your life. But I do know this, find out what you love, what you wanna do, and find out what it takes to be successful in that area of business. And I guarantee it's gonna require some sacrifice. Are you willing to pay it? Are you willing to do it? Because if you are, the sky's the limit. This is Soul Success with Jerry Maynard. We'll see you next week.